This is iCarsoft CR Max. This is actually my first OBD2 scanner from iCarsoft, although I kept hearing about that brand for a long time. So I'm excited I finally could test one of iCarsoft scanners. So I tested it on a bunch of different vehicles. I tried basic stuff like fault codes and live data, but I also tried some advanced features like bidirectional testing or even do some of coding to unlock some hidden features in my Volkswagen. It also comes with a lot of service procedures. I counted almost 50 different service resets, including some interesting ones like immobilizer or odometer reset. Okay, so let me show you the iCareSoft CR. In action, we can go over different cars and I will share my insights and thoughts on this scanner. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I am Yuri, I test OBD2 scanners, I have tested hundreds of them and all the best scanners I have put on my website on the page OBD2 scanner guide, it is linked in the description and on that page you can choose best OBD2 scanners by budget type or car brand and if you are not sure which scanner type is for you, click the link on top, download my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide and I will send you a short PDF which explains differences between scanners and you will know which one is right for you. Okay, first we can test it out on this Alfa Romeo. Now this Alfa has a lot of issues. Let me unbox my iCare Soft. So this is the tablet, wired connection. Some of you may like that because then you don't have to charge your scanner that much because it is charging from your car. On the other hand, it is harder to manipulate and use around the car because you have to be close to a BD port. For me, it doesn't really matter. I like to use Bluetooth, but I don't like to charge them often, so I take any scanner. Now you can do either auto scan, like with any scan tool, but probably on older cars like this Alpha, it will not work. And in that case, you have to choose brand, model and year manually. So I selected Alfa Romeo 147 and now the full scan can start. Now for the full scan, I mean it is not the slowest scanner, but it is also not the fastest one. I guess it is like industry average for bidirectional scan tool. I mean on this Alfa the scan was pretty fast, but when I tried it on Volkswagen it was a little bit slower. So already I got my report. User interface on this scan tool is not prettiest, but it is very functional and easy to work with. So I can just read codes or save the report that I will show you on another car. So let's move it to Volkswagen. This is my Golf 2006. I will not bother with auto scan. I will go straight to choosing Volkswagen. And now I will go to vehicle select because I am lazy to input the number. Vehicle select is way simpler. And now I have to find Golf 1K, Golf 1K, post 2004, select the year 2006. And now the communication is established and I can go ahead and do full scan. Now you also got this practical handle on the back so you can place scanner on your steering wheel. And now we will wait. The iCareSoft will go over all control modules and check for faults. You can already see we have one fault in climate control module, but first we have to let it finish and then we can read all fault codes. Now here this scan is a little bit slower, but it is definitely not the slowest scanner. Depends on what you worked with before. If you got only simple engine code reader, those can scan engine in like two seconds. However, they scan engine only, so it is understandable that more professional tool will scan for a longer time because it has to go over all control modules, not only engine. Now I tried on this Golf bunch of scanners, I tried even VAC scanners like OBD11 and full scan always takes like 2, 3, 4 minutes. I cares of did it in like 3 minutes, so it is like average speed of scan. Okay, so now scan is finished. I got fault code only in that climate module. And now I can do report, which will show me all fault codes. I can even save it. See, all these systems are good. I will save my report. And now I can enter each of these systems separately. So for example, let me go into one of the systems. And in every system, I can do coding. This is body module. So here is when you can do a lot of coding. And this is this VAC special on coding. So this you can find only in VAC cars. In coding like this, you can find in VCDS, if you have VAC vehicle, you probably know VCDS software and it is similar coding like in VCDS. So technically everything you can do with VCDS, you can take the instructions and perform them with this iCareSoft, which unlike VCDS will work on other car brands as well. For example, I use this coding to change my daytime running lights. So currently DRL are set to headlights. 
So if I set my lights to zero, my headlights are still on because it is daytime running lights, but I want to change it to fog lights. So I will enter the long coding. I already know that it is byte 18. I just changed this one setting. So I changed the DRL from headlights to fog lights coding success. And you can see we already have it changed. And now DRL are set to fog lights. So other than coding, in every control module you can see module information like part number, system description, you can read fault codes in all systems separately. If you have fault codes, you can also clear them in every system. You can check live data. So now these are live data only from body control module. So every system will get its own live data, its own fault codes, own bidirectional testing. Everything is different with every system you enter. Now with live data, you can also display them in gauges or graphs. For example, let me show you left turn signal operation. I will change it to graph and now if I press on my turn signal, you can see it turning on and off in the graph display. Now I can also do that for any other data like right front turn signal. And then if I want, I can also combine this data into one graph. For live data, you can also record them. You can freeze data. You have all the functions you might want for live data. You can also select your own range of values for graphs. So for watching live data, this tool is very capable. Also what I like, you can also do dashboard setting. So not only graph, you can also do dashboard or even bar. Now the Microsoft CR Max is bidirectional OBD2 scanner, so we can do this actuation test. So this basically means we can control different components. Now I am in body module. So these are bidirectional tests only for body module. For example, let me choose left turn signal start. So now the turn signal should run. And yes, all my three turn signals for the left side are turned on just from my scan tool. And these are only tests for body module. So if I go to engine module, I can test stuff like engine fan, some relays in engine. If you go to door module, you can test your lock or your window operation. Every control module has different bidirectional tests. And now these remaining features like adaptation, security login or coding, all of these are OEM features for VAC vehicles. So it also comes with a lot of OEM functionality. For example, VAC cars. Once again, if you know VAC cars or VCDS, you know that in VCDS you get stuff like coding, adaptation, security login, and all of the VAC features we have here in iCareSoft. So for example, if I go to adaptation, I can change or unlock some hidden features. For example, coming home, leaving home, food well lightning. This will depend on car model. Every car model comes with different adaptations. So the newer your car is, the more options you have to customize. And then we also got coding, which I showed you already. Now this long coding, it is not as easy to use as VCDS because in VCDS you have long coding helper and you can see what every change will do. Now here, I mean, you can see it as well, but you have to open each byte separately and only after that you can see what that byte does. So it is not as easy as in some scan tool that will show you long coding helper from the start, but it is still better than some tools that doesn't have long coding helper at all. So once again, this Microsoft is average for these OEM functions. Now, if I go back from my control modules, I can go to the service tab and here are most common service features for my model. Here we have nine of them, like all reset, EPB reset. However, these are not all of service procedures because all service procedures are actually hiding in this service tab and you have a lot of them. I counted almost 50 of these service procedures and you have some interesting stuff. For example, the mileage verification. So that means if you take iCareSoft, it will try to pull out mileage data from all control modules. Now you may be already seen some of my videos about checking real mileage with OBD2 scanner. And with this iCareSoft feature, it is really simple because it can do all the work for me. I don't have to open all control modules separately and look for mileage value. I simply hit this mileage verification and it will do all the work for me. So it also might be interesting scanner to use for used car inspections. Now, unfortunately with this Golf, I don't have mileage records, so it is not able to find anything. But it is interesting feature and you got really a lot of service procedure. So it will be also helpful for servicing modern cars. 
which require using a lot of this. Okay, so we have a lot of service procedures. For updating this tool, it is done with Wi-Fi, like every scan tool. So there is not some complicated updating with memory card. Everything is easy with Wi-Fi. And let me show you rest of the scanner. So you have this vehicle history, which will show me which vehicles I scanned and I can access them easily from this tab. We also have this user data. So it's my images, some training videos, some guides like where to find OBD port, nothing too special. In the playback, we can see live data recordings. So these are live data I recorded before. See, this is short sample of live data and it recorded all of the data from my, I believe it was body control module. And now I can display them as text, but also change it to gauge or even graph or even bar like this. And then of course we have the full scan reports. So whenever I saved my reports, it will be saved here. For example, this is report from alpha and we have all these fault codes saved. You have more different settings. You can even change language. It comes with about 15 different languages. And yeah, this is iCareSoft, so it's too bad I couldn't try that many of service procedures because right now I didn't have any car that would need something serviced. But it for sure has a lot of them. Scanner is not bad. It is not best scanner I have tried. But for the new brand I tried, iCareSoft. It has very simple user interface. It is like minimalistic scanner, but it comes with a lot of features. For now, it seems to be pretty good for checking used vehicles and also for servicing different cars. And you could see we got a lot of this OEM stuff like coding, adaptations. When you will connect it to different car like Volkswagen, you will also get some of these OEM features, but this time for your car brand or for different car brand. So in case you want to buy it, I will leave a link in the description and yeah, I will see you next time.